Yo, 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 it's you, boy. Uh, oh yeah, last time we were about to head off. So I guess that's what we're doing. The final island. Look at that. Pony Island. Go find the Kuna. <laughs> All right, you can stop being cool now. Here we are, boys. It's a totally new island. Okay. Look at that pink moustache. Reminds me a little bit of Markiplier. But I want to do the trial. Can we do the trial? Okay, guess not. Man, that is kind of a tease. Oh well. I have to buy a TM here. I almost forgot about that. But I think this is the place where we can get Stone Edge. I don't know who gives it. Uh, oh well, guess. Guess I just uh, answered that question. Ooh, Blizzard. I do like Blizzard. Focus Blast is also one of my faves. We need Stone Edge. Thunder? Thunderbolt? Hmm, Solar Beam, Hyper Beam. We, we will do with what we got now. The only reason I'm not getting Thunder is because Thunderbolt is a free TM we will get soon enough. Okay, so let's get that Stone Edge. What does Happy Hour even do? Yeah, let's just get rid of Happy Hour. I know it's a special move, but hey. I don't really care. Okay, Focus Blast. Ooh, that's a new move for Raichu. Which is actually, you know, decent. A lot of people call it Focus Mist, but I like it. Blizzard? Oh, Blizzard is, uh, interesting. But, nah. Nah, we're not that great. We're, ba we're better off with physical moves. So, hey. That's, that's pretty good, though. That's pretty good. Alright. 
Also, now we have to equip the special Z crystal. Lycanium Z. Instead of the fire one. And then we will give the fire one. Firium to fusion. There we go, that's something. Do we need to heal? No, we don't. That's pretty good. Let's uh, move some Pokemon around. Let's see if Inquisidia can do anything. There we go. It's time to explore. Especially during this part of the game, I wish Lily was more like uh, the follower in Colosseum and XT Gale of Darkness, where he actually just followed you around. It would have been so cool. But alas. Let's see. Carpool. Well, that's immediately a bad switch. This might be a good excuse to show off the uh, Z move, though. for poison straight away. Let's go! Splintered Storm Shards. Oh really? Protect? Hey Tornado, welcome to the stream. I think you might have just missed the uh, Z move. The exclusive Z move for Lycan Rock. Oh, well, we're dead. Oh, no. Oh. Thought we had a kill. But now we're going to go down to poison. Oh, look at this champ hanging on on 1 HP. Come on. 
I like how I'm getting beaten by like this guy. Toxic. Oh, come on. What's up next? Toxipex. Toxipex? Oh, yeah. Of course. Now I remember. Liquidation. Let's get rid of the poison. Oh, might as well just go back to the Pokemon Center. Money? Oh, experience points. That's interesting. Oh, that's actually pretty sad. I guess we have seen every shop in the game now. Since there is no shop on this island. That's kind of a bummer. Oh well. We look cool enough, I guess. Pelipper. Doesn't matter who I fight, they're always good against <laughs> the Pokemon I have out first. Oh, is this more Mantine surfing? It sure is. Alright, not interested. Actually, there's a Pokeball. I'm interested in that. Give me that ball. Max Repel. Not bad. Okay. What a weird guy. Elwood. My name is Elwood Eric. Psychic? Oh, well, there's a solar beam coming. We might as well prepare for that one.
Alright. Uh, as long as he does Solar Beam, we're fine. I was uh, afraid he would use a flying type move. That would have been bad. Lilligant. Alright, bring it on. <laughs> he also uses Solar Beam. Nice. Well, that one was a crit. I'm surprised we survived that one. That's good. Well, as far as I'm concerned, we won both of those. That's good. We could, however, use a heal. Also, nice tutorial game. The makeup bag. Okay, sure. Um, high proportion. You know you're getting into the end game when high proportion doesn't even heal you up to full. Oh, double battle. Boom! Karan Douglas. Both using Mianfu. That's a good Pokemon to use Psychic on. Because it's a fighting type. I think even a pure one, if I'm correct. Well, at least it seems like it, because that one just went down. What a battle. Level 50, nice. We're becoming big boys now. This is the island where big boys become bigger boys. Might as well get some berries, I guess. I'm ready to be attacked. No, not yet. Maybe they changed it in this game where you don't get attacked by a brawler anymore. Or maybe not as often. Pelipper. Oh well, I think this is a crow brawler right here. Which is okay, we can take him. There we go, I was about to say, when does it run out? It ran out right after. Nice train rock 
Hey, Grendel. Nasty. I guess for this one I'm going to try and put down the grassy terrain first. Hopefully it doesn't wreck us. Oh, please don't get paralyzed. Okay, now let's do Petal Blizzard. Hmm. Oh, this is more than I expected. Wait, okay, Cranble also gets health back from Cressy Terrain? That's not good. Well, it seems like everybody does. Let's see if we can hit a Focus Blast. Yeah, we can. Look at that. Oh, that was not effective, though. There you go, that's better. Torpedo is next. That's it with the good one too. Let's hope it will actually finish him off. I actually am predicting it won't. Just because uh charge beam is not strong enough. Seems like we're getting lucky. Hemphoros. The electric type. Let's uh, do a wager and see if we can hit a stone edge. Oh, when we do. But it was on. Let's, let me guess, another Belper? Oh, no, it's another Inkay. Haven't seen those since the first island, but still. Oh, he has a uh, Pokeball in his ladle. It's Cook Phil! Yeah, I remember this guy. Okay, let's switch you out. Because you're going to die. Okay, you can absorb all the sunlight you want. 
Oh. Okay, no, it was just leftovers. I was already getting scared. There we go. They won't be able to do their solar beam attack. Because we had a sick interrupt, boy. Next up is Brabombi. Usually Bombi. Easy enough, hopefully. Just some aerial ace to the face. Rabombi, more like Rabombi gone. Ooh, sticker. Please do the animation again. <laughs> I don't know if she's not going to do it. What about the sticker, though? Hi, uh, sure. Yeah, let's not talk about this, by the way. Well, let's just never talk about this. Okay. Well, the ruins of hope. That's where we will have to go. And I guess we have to go there with the champ. Look at us. Still can't believe this is a real thing. Sticker. Well, at least we can still find. Yeah, the top down view is really weird. Well, at least we can still find Pokemon, I guess. It doesn't matter how disturbing, Pokemon will still attack you. Did all for an adrenaline orb? Well then. Alright. 
No, that's a TM. I want a TM. Wait, how do we get there? Has to do with this rock, right? I I said don't we we won't talk about this. That's what I said. That's what we will do. We will never talk about it. We just appreciate what it is, okay? Hey, it's called. That's a pretty good one. It's at least better than freaking bowl beam. Yeah, exactly, Fusion. Why do you have to take it to a sexist place? Exactly, don't assume gender. Wow. I'm surprised I didn't even call it out myself. Now I'm actually disgusted. Wow. I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't read that. Actually, let's bring Bug Boy out because he needs some some levels. Bug Boy. Sentry! Guess who's going to die? It's you. Kaboom. Persian. Oh, it's a normal one. Would you look at that? Z-move... Hydro Vortex. Cause why not? Critical hit. Well, more, more you literally can get. Critical hit on a Z move is like insta kill. Seriously, this guy. Oh, there we go. Derek. Now look at that. It's Big Boy Squirrel. Well, could have seen this one coming. Okay, let's not mess around. Actually, um, I, uh, hmm. Guess we have to stay in. Did the game just turn orange because of the day and night cycle? That was like a very, like, rough transition. Hmm, 
seems like we have to retreat, actually. Now we, need, we do need to retreat. E Red boy. That's how you know you get wrecked. Feels he Hero Academia, man. Yeah. Actually, it does a little bit. Like I said before, the Z-moves are really anime. Even more so than the Mega Evolution. Um, are you poisoned? I thought you were poisoned, right? Yee. of hope. That sounds promising. Look at that, it's a puzzle. I think I failed this one the the first time I played through this game. The the normal Pokemon moon. Just because I wasn't paying attention. Man, it's so heavy, if only we had like a Machamp. I like how it's totally like the Toriel City right now. Well, here we go again, guys. Actually, we should probably first, like, investigate a little bit. Okay, I think we have to move the, the one... The one rock inside of the hole. I think this one you can't fail. I have to go all the way around. Baby's first um, puzzle. This is like a classic Zelda puzzle. Boom! Yeah, boy. Oh, that's it. Well done. Wait, fifth arm? He's, he's using two of his normal arms. Not... oh my god. Not even...
he's now a kahuna. Executor Island, that's a good place. Hold on, guess we just came here for the ritual or a ceremony or whatever. Now we gotta casually leave. I hope we don't find any Pokemon in this little cave. Well, it doesn't seem like it. Alright, now we can just fly. Well then. We need to go to Exeggutor Island. Uh, we're actually approaching the climax of the story relatively soon. Uh, I've got this, don't worry about it. So basically what we're doing right now is get the extra flute that we need for the ceremony to summon the legendary beast. And then after we do all that, then we save the world pretty much. 
that's when we go to the Pokemon League and uh, become the champion of Alola. And that's basically the end of the game. But there's like a bunch of new post-game stuff in this game. So we're getting there. This is basically like the, the end game stuff. So there's a flute that we need. And the sun flute. I like how Pokemon has this like thing with flutes. Like you have the Pokemon flute for uh, Snorlax. Also, look at these Executor. They're majestic. They're glorious. Ah, uh, nope. I have not been playing P Pokemon Go at all. Too busy working and playing a, d a decent Pokemon game. <laughs> Go on, good luck. What's up with you? The coconut Pokemon Executor. Oh, would you look at that? It's acting a bit odd. Uh oh. Didn't expect it to attack me like that. Oh, it's a pincer. What? Well, this is a, clearly a job for uh, our bug Pokémon. I mean, bug Pokémon, I mean flying Pokémon. <laughs> Sword stands. These are some nasty uh, pincers. Let's not mess around then. Let's go into overdrive. That's not enough. Let's hit them with the good old aerial ace. Oh, I switched them around because you have a version exclu like a special one now. Hey, guess they're getting annoyed by the pincer. Trash is really strong. Oh, we survived. That's impressive. You know what? I think Tornado is right. I think the, um, the Fly UMZ is stronger on Fusion. Because of Aerial Ace being an actual good attack. Plus, we, we kind of need this one more than the fire one. Right now. Mm, there we go. One more pincer to deal with, I assume. Look at this headbanging executor. Hello, pincer.
That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look at this goofy little mess. Oh wait, can I climb him? Is that what we're supposed to do? Oh, look at that! Thanks! Oh, now it's going to put me back down, I guess. What a good boy. That's a good boy. Huh, hold on a second. Ah, a sticker, look at that. Alright. Detour is over. <laughs> Let's get that flute. The sun fluid is ours. Alright. Let's go heal. Tusk stone, not bad. Uh oh, that's Team Skull. More of those, yes. Here we go. Why do I always end up at the wrong Pokemon? Yeah, it's the classic sun and moon smile. I guess in the remake they could just not let it go. It is just the standard of this game. 
Always smile. I like how the game takes like five minutes before it actually starts the animation. Me first, and no, we can do without me first. Ha, <laughs> get boned. Oh, is this like one of the first horde battles? You actually share experience with the whole party. Don't don't be a wuss. Oh, it's I guess it's just a one-on-one -on -one battle. All right. I think Tornado is scared that his number one spot will be taken. Marini. It's time for the old one too. Bloom Doom. Oh, rip. That's bad. And it's time for a tactical retreat. Basically. I like how this is like a little gauntlet of all of the Team Skull Pokemon they use. Which also kind of makes it easy because I know which ones counter which most of the time. Okay. 
let's not miss. Ah, oh, he, he missed. It's a big boss Redicate. He, he ate a little bit too much, I guess. Okay, let's go switch. Hey, dude, he's like a little hamster. It's totally okay. Question mark? Sure. Ha, you can sucker punch me that time. Oh, now he's going to kill himself. He didn't kill himself, but at least he's done. Dungeon wings. Nah, that's not true. I like how these live streams have, have turned into which one can trash talk the most. Still that smile. Hey, it's, an, it's a new Z-Crystal that we can use. I'm out of here. Forget about it. Thanks for the heals. And now it's time for what is basically this game's victory road. Which is basically like the famous last trial before the Elite Four. It's like a big cave kind of like cliff thing that you have to struggle through most of the time. But we ain't going to struggle. Going to come out on top. Cause that's the kind of people we are. Space dude. Well, here we go again. Using poipole. He's so poipole. It's not blue, not red, poipole. Poipole. He is so poipole. Let's see if you can withstand my ultimate move. 
Alright, it's time to go beyond. Splintered something shards. I didn't read it. Splintered storm shards. Let's go. Poison. Oh, you can flint. Uh, you can attack. That's good. You got this now. Oh, never mind. He used the healing item. Should have known. Okay, no problem. Yeah, let me just do all of the work, as always. Alright. Let's play the lottery. And get like another freaking derpy power. Time to do this. Some healing items? Yeah, boy. Here we go. Oh, a behem. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how I should approach this guy. Maybe with some grass? 
Maybe with bug or dark type moves. That seems like a good call right now. Are we dead? Oh, we hang on! And now we get all of our health back. A little bit. We're going to die though. Yeah, he's just going to keep using Psychic. Well, too bad. Oh wow, Phantom Force? Alright. I know what to do against that attack. But the problem is he's probably just going to do it again now. Wait, what? Crunch. Crunch is super effective against it, apparently. A little hole, which will lead us to a Pokeball and also a Golbat. The old, the classic Golbat. Protein. Not bad. But first, let's bring back Mitsuki. Some Max Revive. We still have some normal ones, right? Sure, we do. Yeah, two. deal with the kids these days. Get wrecked. Oh, 
I like how it plays this, like, very upbeat music. Normal games, it would be, like, a super serious time right now. What I do like is that you can't really get lost in these games that much anymore. Because in the original games, like, I don't know, you could not see as much and, like, all everything looked a bit more alike. Because they were all just, like, tile sheets and they would all look the same. Which made it really hard sometimes to navigate through these caves. But hey. Now we're falling. Alright, what's the plan? Something like this, I guess. That was more effective. Well, better go to the old reliable strategy of using Rock Slide, I guess. Item. Stardust, that's good for selling. Considering we blew all of our money on TMs earlier, that's kind of useful. It's another goal bat. Now, don't be mistaken, boys. Uh, we are also here to capture our probably very last addition to the team. Which is going to hopefully be a pretty strong Pokemon. Uh, should be coming up any second now. Maybe right in this grass, actually. Not this guy. This guy is pretty cool, but that's not the Pokemon we're after today. I have no clue yet, actually. I have not been thinking about it too much. I might just call it after my friend Dino. Oh, look at that! It's, it's a choke. How amazing. Oh hey look, it's another Lycan Rock. This is the normal form, the day form, instead of the um, midday form that we have. Oh wow, he couldn't escape. That's embarrassing. Let's give it like two more goes, because I'm fairly certain it could be in here. Oh, nope, that's... that's a carbink. Oh, I actually have a good idea for this one. For the name.
Okay, I might not be in this grass just yet. And now it's more of a common, like, up ahead. Maybe there's more grass, like, to the left of here. Oh, Toros is too big. Oh, more cave. Okay, let's go through this cave then. Well, this is the one where you have to find a uh, thunderbolt. Carving. You wood up hiker. Tops. Now that's a cool Pokemon. Now that's what I'd call a Pokemon. It's called. Wow, that was a critical hit. It didn't do anything. is really strong, I'm surprised. Tyrantrum. Oh, Ripperoni. Ripperoni, Spaghettaroni. We've taken quite a beating, but it's fine. I think uh, Lily will come and heal us soon. Let's get this guy with a psychic. Another one. Another one. It's time to get healed, I guess. I guess that's also a reason why it's like easier than in previous games. Because in previous games, the victory road was really like a thing you had to do with just yourself. Sometimes you had to go out and heal or use items. But this game, nope. You have the power of friendship. Uh oh, going to. Oh yeah, this is what they call character development, I guess. Got a way to go, let's be honest. <laughs> there we go, now we get a heal. And now we can continue our journey. Wait a second, I was supposed to get Thunderbolt. Or <laughs> was it a different cave? I guess it was a different game, because this one didn't really have much. <laughs> nice one. Actually, this is like a 
place to take a photo. So why not? Ooh, it's a Mian show. There only one? Seems like it. Ooh. That was a good pose. Didn't get it on, on photo though. Let's uh, use this one. I like how there's grass down there. I don't think I can reach it yet. Alright, more cave. Here we come. Oh! Who are you, little guy? Gotcha! I think. Oh, it's a Baldor. He rocks, but he doesn't rule. Get it? Because he's a rock. That joke was set in stone. Come here, you little, little heap of dust. You're actually Doctrio. What up, boy? I was not expecting the Doctrio. Look at this fancy heap of freaking Doctrio. That's Ductria for you. What, what a pal. What a buddy, what a pal. Oh, I'm getting attacked by the second one. It's a shame. Come on. Let's switch our front runner, actually. There we go, we're fighting more uh, rock types and ground types. Yeah, that's what happens when you live in Alola, dude. It's paradise over here. Go bad, go away. Nobody likes you. I was just thinking with the go bad, right? When Pokemon Go first came out, it was like a big deal. Like c capturing like a evolved Pokemon was pretty cool. But it's kind of weird how even though Pokemon Go like blew our minds for a while, now it's kind of like a normal thing. It's kind of weird to think about. It's kind of like uh, 3D movies and stuff. Like the first time you go watch a 3D movie, it's like, whoa, this is the future. But then after a while, it's like, well. I don't know, it's just kind of a normal thing, isn't it? I wonder what is, like, next. I guess VR is kind of the same thing. Like, a few years ago, it was like, whoa! And now it's more like... Now it's more like, oh, VR is everywhere. Fallout VR, everything VR. Yeah, it's, it's kind of sad it dies down, but I guess it's just how we evolve. If it was still like as amazing as back in the day, 
we would, you know, they wouldn't be making like something new. It would just stay the same. If that makes sense. Well, you know what? That would be something interesting for, uh, for like the next generation of streaming. You have the streamer, and like he has a chair next to him, and that's like the VR camera thing. So, uh, that was the evolution of Magnetron. You better be ready to get Magnazone and freaking Pokemon Go in a few years, because it's happening. But yeah, like, imagine in the future, instead of like, the transparent green screen uh, streamer next, uh, well, in, in the corner or something. You're literally just sitting next to him. Then you can watch him play the game, you can look around his room in VR, that would be insane. I feel like some streamer needs to get on that, but I guess the software isn't really there yet. Hey, Renee, welcome. I always feel bad when Pokemon goes down and like they get moxie. But yeah, I don't know, VR live streaming might be a thing in the future. I wouldn't be surprised. Literally just came up with it. It actually sounds easier to do once you have like the setup ready. Uh, oh yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah, exactly, Fusion. It, it would be easier for the streamer because it wouldn't require a green screen and as much like, you know, chroma key and whatever. Like, it, it kind of is easier to do, once the stuff is, uh, more available. And of course the glasses are kind of like a hurdle right now. But I guess you could still watch it in... Well, I mean, if you watched, like, a 3D video on YouTube, you can still view it on your desktop. So I guess that wouldn't even be a problem. Like, uh, Game Crumbs has done some episodes where they, like, view a show from their room with the 3D like uh, camera setup. It's definitely going to be a thing. And it's definitely it's probably what is going to be the next step when it comes to like improving like entertainment as, as streaming. Because uh, that's like the closest you can get to actually like sitting next to a streamer I guess. Imagine all of the highlights when there's somebody like walking in and stuff. <laughs> Oh man, what if like a streamer dies on stream and it's like in 3D and stuff, that would be insane. I'm just kind of using this move because it looks cool. I don't, I'm not even sure if it's going to do that much damage against him. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, look. When you come up with an idea, always go for the best and the worst situation. That way you're prepared for everything. It's not slightly morbid. It, it's actually just morbid, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was pretty bad. Oh well.
probably mention something like Twitch plays Pokemon, right? But instead of controlling like a game, you're controlling like a robot in real life. You could just make him walk everywhere and stuff. Well, I guess that wouldn't really work because he bumps against like walls and stuff all the time. That'd be kind of kind of bad. But imagine if you could like actually move him around. Like he could like travel the world. Imagine, yeah, that would be a thing. Can you imagine it? Like instead of like trying to beat a game, you have this robot who needs to travel around the world. Then again, stream sniping is already a thing. And the people on Reddit are crazy, so they might just try and find the robot and like destroy it. Then again, people can get away with IRL streaming too, so it can't be that bad. for the Pokemon, by the way. Nope. It's just another ball door. Yeah, exactly, but I mean, that's part of what Twitch plays Pokemon makes it... Okay, that wasn't even a sentence. <laughs> that was... Halfway through that sentence, I was like, I know where I want to go, but this is not the way to get there. No, no, I was talking about my own sentence. What I was trying to say is, like, that's kind of what makes it charming. The struggle of, like, five bajillion people trying to either ruin it or trying to make progress while being like a single entity. It's... I don't know. I mean, in the end they usually succeed, which is like a very interesting to me. And they succeed like pretty quickly too. In red and blue at least. Like some people can't even beat those games on their own. Well, you know, kids. I'm not talking about like grown-ups. Usually those can beat Pokemon games. <laughs> I remember when it was like really hype, I saw somebody stream uh, Ocarina of Time as Switch plays Pokemon. That was really weird because like it has 3D aiming with like the hookshot and stuff. Yeah, weird stuff. That was weird. I think you had to call like uh, like coordinates on the screen. Like there was a grid and you had to say like A2. That's where you have to aim with the hookshot. E there it is! That is a Pokemon I want to catch! Jangmo! Look at this little boy. Oh, but this is a girl. Let's, let's wait until we get a boy. But at least we know that it's over here now. So that's something. Also, preferably one with like a text, that would be nice, but... Knowing my luck, I will get a modest one. And I'm going to cry again. Oh, that's not a Jangmo. That's a... Like a rock. We did battle this trainer, right? Yeah, we did. Okay, so we're free to walk in this grass as we please. Nianfu. No, I just... just for aesthetics, really. I want to name it after a friend, and uh, it just makes more sense that way. I don't know. I'm kind of just a natty when it... Oh, look at that! Didn't even know I could catch this one in this game. I, I guess you can. I know there's like a certain grass patch. But this is the other version of Lycanroc. This is the uh, night, night one. Midnight form. That's it. So now we have seen all three Lycan Rock. Midday, Midnight, and whatever the other one is. 
Hi high noon, Lycan Rock. Oh, look at that, Skarmory. I use this version, uh, extra limb. Do I even? Oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, do I even want to know? But you guys were still talking about why I would prefer a male Jangmo. Jangmo. This is like bad grass to look for one. We keep getting this lightning rock. You might need to go and look for one further up ahead. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with this grass all of a sudden. But I guess the odds to get one here is low anyway. Let's move on. Now this is a shortcut. So let's activate this. I guess we have some trainers to, de to deal with. Oh, hold on. Streak secret passage. Ooh, maybe we will find one here. Nope, that's a Skarmory. The struggle of me trying to find Pokemon for my team has been extraordinarily hard this time around. Nope, it's a bunch of rocks. Gosh darn game. Why, why does every Pokemon on my team have to take like an hour to get? <laughs> this is this is saddening. But crying about it won't help, so. Let's go fight that team skill member and see if he has any clues. Blues clues. I like how I didn't even know if I have one or not. He was just going to fight me anyway. Alright, bad matchup. Oh wait, we have Focus Blast. Let's hope we don't miss. And we missed. Let's hit it this time. Here we go. Nice. Mr. Guzma. It's your boy Guzma. Oh, look at that. We're getting near the end. 
don't remember actually. Oh, it's Graveler. Let's focus miss again. Alright, sure. Bring it on, Lapras. Of course, you would miss. Why are we missing so much? Did I miss something? Hey, we hang on because of the power of friendship. And now I've lost my marbles, so... <laughs> We're going to Z-move. Of course it survives. I was kind of hoping this would like crit or something. It's fine. Oh, safeguard. Maybe that was what. Uh, kept them strong. Well, not my proudest uh, fight. I almost said something else which was not related to this. Alright, next trainer. As long as I have Pokemon, I can fight, I guess. Ooh, three Pokemon. Oh. They have their own bird. I like how everybody's like slowly dying. Hmm. I misclicked. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Luckily, we can still do this. Oh, that's bad. Lord. Oh boy. Wait, what happened to Waylord? I thought it was way bigger than that.
there we go. At least that should be able to take care of Willard. I like how we survived on like one HP. Let's go in for the headbutt. Why not? He did not flinch. Or get paralyzed, but that's fine. Yeah, like I said, that's, that looks pretty small for a whale lord. I would have expected it to be like giant. But I mean, it would destroy the frame rate, I think. Uh, at least I think that's how it happened in previous games. Glaceon. Let's hit it with the Z move. A year later. I like how it survived. Let's hope we don't miss the rock slide. Okay, good. Alright, one more to go. Let's treat the burn. I think I've never treated the burn before, though. That's kind of interesting, the little um, effect. Time for the last boy. Four Pokemon, that's pretty bad. Who do we have up front? Fusion? Oh no. Okay, that's good. Oh, we're out of PP though. I don't like it when I'm out of PP. Seems like Mutal can't do much against him though. I did metric code, but I'm not even attacking you this turn. Flying on us next.
Oh, I like how he hung on on like 1 HP and now it's going to kill me. Unfortunate. Running out of options. Looking. Oh boy. Wait, we do have crunch, right? That might be a good move. I think Slooking is like a water psychic. Mm-hmm. That was more effective than I would have expected. Yay us, Gengar. I think Crunch still works really good on him too. Yep, super effective. Perfect. But we do have to survive a Shadow Ball. Which we do not. Huh. Well... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a Revive because I'm not sure if we can finish him with a Z-move. And I can already feel me getting wiped and then having to walk all the way back over here. <laughs> Which would literally destroy me mentally. So let's use a max revive, I guess. I don't have anything else. Oh, we would have survived the Z, uh, Z move. What, what am I saying? The uh, Shadow Ball. Let's do Supersonic Sky Strike because why not? Oh, he's going to kill us first though. Oh boy. Let's hope we can take at least one Shadow Ball. I think we can. I'm gonna call bullshit otherwise. Yeah, okay, we could we could take one. But he couldn't take one crunch. So that's good. The game continues. And Lily is going to heal all of our Pokémon, so we just pretty much made it. Right. Hello, Major Pep. Welcome to the stream. Let's, uh... Let's, uh, use soup. Because soup is basically, so far, has been our totem Pokémon challenger. Getting attacked by a wild Jangbo. Considering this is a trial, we cannot catch him, I'm pretty sure. We'll give it a go though. Yeah, until you finish the trial, we can't catch these. Can we run though? No, we cannot run. <laughs> that would have been too easy. Alright, well, I guess we get a little teaser at our next addition to the team. If only we had a fairy type move, that would have been really useful right now. Well, I guess Psychic will do.
Dragon Claw. Now that's a good move. It's a very strong move. Because it's Dragon type, and Dragon type is pretty strong. But nobody can learn it at this moment. I should have expected that, to be honest. Oh wow, on Pokemon Red? That's pretty cool. Okay, this is the evolved form. Hecomo. Hecomo mo So, guess we just do the same tactic. Completing the Pokedex is fun to a certain degree. I don't really like uh, leveling up all of the Pokemon. But then later generations, it certainly is easy enough to just get a bunch of Pokemon and level them all at once. So if I remember correctly... Straight up ahead is the Totem Pokémon. And also a Z-Crystal. It is... Come along. Oh man, this guy's level 50. Pretty much. Ow. Don't mind the frame rate being like a potato right now. A Noivern? Oh boy. Let's just focus on debilitating the totem Pokemon. Hold on. Let's try to get rid of the Noivern with Rock uh, Slide. I wonder if we're going to be faster. Nope, we're not. Oh, we got a critical hit. That's good. Alright, Fusion. Enjoy your dinner. Alright, that's Noivern out of the way. And some pretty decent damage on Kamal. Let's try to hit a Stone Edge. Oh, that's going to heal him up pretty well. Oh, yep. Should have seen that one coming. Hmm. Thinking about what my next step should be. 
Let's try Psychic and see how much it does against this one. Alright, have fun, Major Pep. Oh, that's not what we should have gotten. Scissor? What? Yeah, it's going to finish us off. I just hope that Scissor doesn't have, like, Bullet Punch. That would ruin Raichu right now. Oh well, that's close. Oh, X Scissor is actually just the same. It's also going to wreck us. Okay, but if, if Fusion is fast enough, we can at least Destroyed the uh, the whole the the main Pokemon. Flame charge into Aerial Ace. That one has more base power. There we go. Yippee! -yoo. And we even still have our Z move for Scissor. And it survived. Classic. There we go, that was a successful trial. Now we got the Dragonia C something Dragonium Z. There we go. Does this mean that if we go in and back out, we can find Jangmo? Oh darn! I might have triggered like a long cutscene. Okay, we can still go back. Huh. I'm expecting wild Pokemon to be here. But no dice.
guess we got to search in the grass again. In the meantime, I will check Google and see what its rates are and where it is. for some details. Oh, it's 5% everywhere. The chance of finding one is 5%. Well, we're going to be here for a while. As always, GG me. Oh. Are you a boy? You're a boy. Now you're my boy. Noble boy. Ah, oh, interesting. I've never really seen that attack before. Let's give it a good old headbutt. Another one. Alright, now let's use the Roto Catch. So we have a higher chance of catching this bad boy. Just using Dragon Claw. That was not that strong, but we are pretty tanky, so... Let's see... Let's try a Luxury Ball. That one is pretty cool. Or a heavy one. Let's try heavy. That one looks good. Nope! I did not want that ball. Let's try luxury then. This one's pretty fancy. You might want to stay in it. Come on, little boy. I literally can't hit him with another uh, headbutt. And we've used the Roto Catch as well. Two. Oh, come on. You know what? Let's just throw an Ultra Bell. That one looks fine, too. Actually, look works better with its color scheme. The yellow and the black. Plus, it's just a better bell. Yes! We got ourselves a Jang Mo. And we're gonna call this one after viewer and friend and Dino. Let's hope we don't get like a super bad nature. Let's call it Dine. And then oh, I don't know what I just did. There we go. Dino O. See what it did there? Uh, I think that's pretty clever. Let's add it to the party and let's bring soup to the PC. Boom! Let's see what we got. Oh, we, we got a negative attack. Pretty sure that's what that means, right? Bold?
Let's give it a good look. Yeah, attack decrease, but you know what? That's fine. We will make it work somehow, I guess. I mean, we could go and look for another one. But that might take years. So how about we just, uh... Move on. I always get nature screwed. Stupid game. Let's give us a save before we do anything too serious. Alright then. Actually, let's move our Pokemon as well. We can't have this shrimp out first. Hey Rogan Roller. Welcome to the stream. Oh, we should look at that. Look, it's Cosmo. Where did he come from?
Oh wow. That's quite a few wormholes. You be burst. Buzz wall. Guess Lord. Circuitry. Well then, am I supposed to catch it now? You can't catch an Necrozma that was fused with another Pokemon. Oh boy. Guess we have to fight it. Night Slash. That's not good. Oh boy. Alright. Now if I remember correctly, Psychic Steel type. Well, that didn't do much. It's called. Let's see what that does. If he survived a night slash. Nope. He keeps getting critical hits too. Oh boy. Guess we have to do some of that good old Z move magic. Caught a few shiny Pokemon. I wouldn't say I'm too into it, but I've done the the chain fishing, chaining, horde battling with the adrenaline orbs. I've done that too. Okay, well, even that Z move attack didn't do much. Oh, but the crunch was effective. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that was a legendary Pokemon. GG. That moment where you struggle more against totem Pokemon. That that tells you a lot.
Oh, they have Lunala? Interesting. Alright, so when do we do it? Oh, we have a suit and everything. That's interesting. Do we have a mask? Oh, we do not. That would have been funny. Oh, there we go. Okay, great. Motion controls. Hey Dino, watch out for the spoilers. We're, f we're flying, I think. I'm very bad at it. Well, I guess I just took the first portal out. It's just a random different world. Audino. Not what I expected, but okay. Level 60. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, Dino. Well, I guess I done goofed this one up. Let's go again. Into the giant white one. Alright. Well, I was just like, I don't know, let me go get the ball, I guess. Okay, how do the mo- Oh, it's inverted, that's right. Kind of forgot about that part. Man, inverted, invert, yeah, wow. Inverted controls are weird. Is this a giant white one? How do I? Ah, oh, frick! I don't know how to control this. This is a mess. I will go check out the Pokemon anyway. A crumb pig? That's not a pig Pokemon. How interesting. Maybe this is a pig related world. Any changes to the team? Yeah. Got the Flogress. I don't know if you were there for that. Actually, I think you were there for that. And then we have a. Uh... So we have. Machu, Tornado, and we have this little Yangmo that I call Dino, but I might need to get a new one because this one is Bold Nature, which is minus attack plus defense, which is pretty bad, considering he's a physical attacker, but I'm not sure. I mean, there's a 5% chance to encounter one, which is pretty bad, but on my own time, it's, it's not that bad. 
But we did spend like an hour trying to get one. Decent one. Well, decent. Okay, so let's try to get like... Inverted controls into my mind. Because it's... it's ugh. It's messy. Do you use a special? Oh. You should link me on Discord so I know if I can get that in PV. I don't care that much, but I just don't like a nature that's like actually gimping my Pokemon. Because th then I start blaming Pokemon based on how bad they are. And they're like actually pretty good if they have the right nature. <laughs> Is that a big white one? No? Okay. Oh, Clean Clank Scales is, uh... Get the orange dudes. I I'm trying. I'm trying, it's not that easy. Ah, frick. How am I supposed to control this? Oh really? I wasn't sure if they were white or like light blue. <laughs> Imagine if you're colorblind. <laughs> this would have been like the worst part of the game. Oh look at that, it's a crustal. At least the the Pokemon in here are pretty goofy. Let's get back out of here. I thought it would just be like one big hole at the very end and it would like automatically put me in there. But I see. I guess even for story purposes they just want you to like learn how to use this thing since I, I heard this is like a major thing for shiny hunting as well like the longer your streak or whatever or distance the higher the chance of getting a shiny is and you can soft reset the Pokemon alright so light bluish white holes how? I'm assuming this is one of them Nope. Wow, a lumber. I think the Pokemon type is determined when you go in. I don't think the nature and shininess and stuff is determined. I think that's only determined once you actually like touch the dust cloud and the Pokemon appears. But I don't know, I've only heard rumors about this being like a way to shiny hunt. I've not tried it or anything, obviously. I mean, I can't even get to the freaking Ultra Space. Okay, new strategy, we're only going to do up and down because that's like the only thing my brain can handle. That one is too green, I assume. Ah, oh, rip. Couldn't even avoid that one. Oh, but this one is it? Okay, I guess with white I meant like yellowish orange. 
Wow, well, look at that. Ultra Megalopolis. Oh, look, it's the other two people. Megalo Tower. I like how there's just a random street sign over here. I don't know fear, I'm a little girl, and I smile all the time. And I can't stop smiling, and I won't stop smiling. And they won't stop smiling, and they won't stop smiling. Man, dramatic staircase, it's dramatic. I wonder what's up. Could it be Kyogre? Hello, Gradon? Wow. You know what? I should have probably saved like Dino said, but... Rip. Oh! I still get the chance to save. Well, good job, Dino. I thought I was screwed for sure. Let's go. Look at this boy, he actually looks pretty cool. Oh, it's now a totem Pokemon. I assume we don't catch it this time. Can still give it like a go though. Okay, no. Oh boy. I'm fucked. Does it just have a counter for my whole team?
Well then. That, uh... That just happened, I guess. How did that just happen? I like how you guys are discussing strategies and like literally nothing works because I freaking oh fuck what that I want to hit all of them. Mm, that was literally the worst Pokemon fight I've ever seen. Oh boy. Well, let's first look up a Como, oh, like, uh, freaking. Uh. Set. Like a. Like a move set. Oh boy, you learned Flamethrower? Now I'm intrigued. And it learns Flash Cannon by TM. Alright, so we can definitely use this one. Alright. Cool, and now my game is freaking black. Yup. So not only am I depressed, but even the game is depressed. Alright, well this is the first time in like years I have had to actually train in a Pokemon game. I know where I'm going though. Actually, I first want to look up DTMs that I want to get. See where those are are to be found. To make uh, Chang Mo a bit more useful. Actually, is there a TM list for Ultra Sun and Moon? There is one on Pokeball Insider. It actually doesn't list where to find them, though. Oh no, actually, there is. There's, there's one. Okay, let's see. TM99? Oh, half of them are not even... Not even filled in. All, all the ones that I need are not on the list. Wow, that's stupid. It can learn Dragon Pulse. That's something, I guess. Sorry if I'm being quiet, I'm literally just reading the wiki. I know, it's super intriguing for all of you. Does it even list anywhere where to find these?
Yeah, you guys are right. That's what I should do. That that would work. But I feel like training my team would still be more, uh... Ooh. Dino coming in with the actual good link. Let me actually... Oh, rip. I think I need... <laughs> I think you need to send it again. Hold on. Send it again, Dino, because I didn't have the stream open, so I can't read the chat. Dino, send, send the link again, please. Thank you. Alright, let's see. Oh, Ice Beam is one of them that we can get, apparently. Mount Lanakila. Oh, that's probably at the end of the game. Never mind that then. Thunderbolt. Sandy Cave. Flamethrower. Fast Pony Canyon. Ripperoni. That's where we were just at. And then, um, what was the other one that I wanted to check? Flash Cannon... Seafolk Village! That's where we are right now, but it's freaking dark as hell. It's freaking dank as hell. <laughs> Man. Can't believe we just got 6 would by... Literally... Freaking god. Wait, there's an low Russian Z? Oh boy, there is! I kinda, like, completely forgot about that. Well... This will surely help me against my battle against this freaking god himself. What attack do I need for this? Thunderbolt. Oh, I don't have Thunderbolt yet. It should be in Fast Pony Canyon somewhere, but I, I don't know. I think it's in the other area that's only- oh boy, look at how dark it is. Hey, look, it's a move that we can teach to our little... little Dragoon. I never use, uh, Lucky Punch. Well, actually, he can only learn it later on, I guess. Well, that's one TM down. The other one was in Fast Pony Canyon, so we might as well... go back there. Oh, wait, there's a sticker! There's a sticker! Thank you. All right, let let's get soup back. Soup might be uh, our savior. The problem is with um. Let's, let's take Sue back with us. He's been our dedicated tank for a while. Let's drop a uh, freaking... Stupid doo. There we go.
Remember that time we did like a story thing and like I got raped by the light? That just happened. I remember that. That was fun. Pokemon Ultra, y'all eat shit off the ground. Sun and moon. Still nothing here. Oh boy, did they really program everything to be dark in this game now? Never mind, this actually looks <laughs> completely normal. I'm not sure because there's like a um Oh you know what? I I know an area we we could have gone to. But I kinda just skipped. So let's go there first. I'm trying to locate Thunderbolt so we can actually use a decent electric move on Raichu. As well as flamethrower that should be around here. Somewhere. Oh man, I, I'm really glad I got stuck at the best part of the game where everything is black. Please tell me there's more to this part of the cave than just water. Oh yeah, there's a karate kid. Let's focus miss. Oh, look, we missed. What a surprise. Look, it's the first time seeing Crab Dumbo. My bad Pokemon. I should be using torpedo, shouldn't I? Hey, look at that, it's not flamethrower. Oh, hey, look at that, it's not freaking shank potato. will be our savior. He's the one we needed but didn't deserve. Hey look, it's a surfer from earlier. I saw him, I think. He has a gold duck. Shoutouts to my buddy freaking Dino with a shiny Psyduck. 
Some people get lucky, I get 6 owed. Too bad, but I bet uh, Jengmo only learns that later on. Yep, yep. Actually, how much better is Flamethrower? I know it's special attack, but at this point, Flame Charge has like what? 50? 90? It sounds like it's worth it, to be honest. Okay, let's use an escape rope. Escape rope. There we go. Let's use that and then let's give Thunderbolt one more shot. Thunder, Bolt, TM, Ultra Sun. I already looked it up once, and it wasn't that hard to find. Wait a second, it's in a totally different spot than in Sun and Moon. No wonder. No wonder I would never be able to find it. It's actually in a way easier spot though. Hold on. It's not on here, it's not here, it's... It's here. There we go. It says it's on the sandy cave. Is that a cave over here somewhere? Over here somewhere. You do still need the the Mechamp shove though. So that's something. me, I'm just pretty bummed out since I'm, I'm, I'm bad. <laughs> no, it's fine. We're getting strong. This is project get my game act together. AKA pretend like I'm training but secretly I'm just giving up on life. Alright, so now we have Thunderbolt. At least we couldn't get it any er, like earlier. So there we go. That's that. Now we can get the Rylolian Z. Man, that means the Pikachu family has like three different unique Z moves. 
There you go, that's that. Then we can give Dragonium Z to Dino Wall. There we go, that's that. I still go to the party for fly. Hot chocolate. Noise. Tiramisu hot chocolate. Where do you even find that stuff? Alright, let's go train at the gym. If I remember where the gym is. It's in Mali City, right? I mean, it sounds delicious. <laughs> Alright, let's sort the of party out a little bit. Let's see if Dino can handle himself a little bit. <laughs> Dino says, I can't. Look, it's this guy from the thing with the thingy. Let's go. This is like the weirdest dude that doesn't have a backstory. But looks badass for no reason. Alright, let's go, little boy. Show them devastating Drake. I think the uh, Vermilion City Gym is a very iconic one though, because a lot of people get stuck on it. I mean, you can't really say many of the designs were that interesting. I don't know why I went on the Z move, that guy is literally 20 levels below mine. Also, that's a good point. I don't know, which gym would you uh, recreate from Generation 1? I'm going berserk!
Did I just get paralyzed? Ripperoo. Gym 8, I don't know. Gym 8 was just like a Team Rocket hideout, though. If you really think about it. Also, we already have, like, Rainbow Rocket, so... A Rainbow Rocket. Man, that's what I was expecting from Ultra Sun. I actually do need to heal though. Well, okay. That's what I expected from Ultra Sun and Moon, to be honest. It would become like more of a traditional Pokemon game with gyms. Um, but apparently, they just kind of copy pasted everything. Yeah, we should, but you should probably keep your team from being too powerful, though. Because streaming and all of that does slow down my progress quite a lot. Otherwise, your team is going to be like level freaking 70, 20,000 million. Okay, well, that gym was actually pretty weak. Like, in terms of level, so that's not a good place to train. What is a good place to train, you think? Just some random Pokemon and Pony Canyon. Oh yeah, true, I'm dumb. Never mind. Yeah, we should probably battle then. Hmm, where do I, like, train? Ow. Oh. I like how I keep going through this cave, it really has nothing for me. Well, actually, I know a place where we have to... Well, have to is a big word, where we can go to. I kind of forgot about the desert. And if I remember correctly, there's a sea crystal there too. That I want to pick up. Sorry if I'm um, kind of like just scrambling around. When does Jangmo evolve for the first time? Can't be that far off, right? Level 35? Is that like next level? EA for inventory management. Oh boy, this boy is ready to evolve into like its final evolution already. He's actually one level above his final evolution. So is this place open yet? Okay, yeah, so it is.
Wow. I see how it is. Oh wow, it actually hints at shiny Pokemon being easier to find this way. Alright, let's try and struggle to find that sea crystal that's hidden over here. Oh look, it's Ductrio. Look at that mofo. Actually, never mind, Noble Roar is not even an attacking move. It sounds so cool, but it does so little, you know? Sucker Punch. Classic. Okay, you know what? Let's not try and fight it anymore and just switch to a Pokemon I can take care of it. So graceful. So majestic. So Ductrium. Now, I remember this having like a Lost Woods mechanic, where it's like you have to follow a certain pattern. But knowing me, I'm just going to randomly come across it, or we will be here for the next hour. There's only two options. Of course it calls for help. Of course. Oh, but it's helped in the beer. Spider. Oh, if you kill this duck trio, it, it will evolve. That's good. That's hoip. Hoip. I like how you can get Yangbo literally at like the end of the game, and literally, like, it's basically a finished Pokemon by the time you get it. Like, it's only a Jangbo because they don't want to give you like a fully evolved Pokemon. And, I mean, you can even catch him, like, evolved and everything. If you find, like, the evolution and, like, do the adrenaline orb thing. There we go. Here we go, this is the first one. Small boy evolves into slightly bigger boy.
Come on, you move. Sky uppercut. Sure. Bulldoze. Now oh, we survived. It's something. Oh look, it's right now. I think now that we have Sky Up because we can actually hit everything super effective here in terms of wild Pokemon. Because they all seem to be like ground or dark. There's a TM on the other side. On the other side of a place that we can't reach. Squally uppercut. I might have to look it up. Let me let me just look it up. Okay, here it says we have to do east, then north, then east again, and that's it. But only once we've entered. I don't know how to leave, actually. Come on, man. We're pretty strong. I can't believe he went from, like, uh, 49 to 60. Yeah, there's an insane, like, level gap all of a sudden.
intimidate me. At least the Korokoroks are easy, like, easy experience. They don't kiss much, but hey. Back here. Ah, oh, safety goggles. All right, sure. Come on, why is he avoiding all my attacks? It's because of the darn sandstorm. And the root sandstorm, why? Oh boy, if you don't hit this one, I'm gonna be angry. Let's exit through flying, that will be easier. Let me just re-enter, that's easier than trying to find the exit. I didn't literally just close the page. Oh man, I did. Sea crystals. Okay, so this is the first screen. Now we have to go north one screen. After we get attacked by this, what I assume is a duck trio. A trapinch. Look at the little boy. It's a trapinch. Too easy to make, Runia. Too easy. Too easy. Ok, 
Okay, first screen. Hey Charizard to Flame, welcome to the stream. Now we need to go two to the left. Two to the left. No wait, one east, then north, then east. Okay, okay, I can do this. Left up left. Now we're going east. Now we need to go up. And then we have to go east again. Nice! How far are you into the game? I just got my ass whooped at the the part where you summon the legendary. Trap cinch. Okay, Runia, that one is slightly better. I'll give you kudos for that one. There we go. Now immediately the final evolution. Does it learn clang scales? Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, maybe it will. There we go. Oh, I think I done goofed it. What if they changed it in this version? You know what, I might have. Or did I have to go east? I probably had to, to be honest. Okay, hold on. Let's first learn those TMs. Flamethrower. Flash cannon. There we go, that will help a little bit. Okay, let's do this again. Let's fly out one more time. This time I will use a max repel and we will try it again. It's because with all of the wild fights and the evolutions in between, I get it. I get a bit confused. Can't really blame me. It takes like five minutes to get out of a battle. So, north, east, north, east. Do we even have a repel? I feel like 
Lily was only talking about repels all the time. Yep, I do not seem to have a repel. You know what? I'm gonna buy them now. <laughs> like, right now. Because I ain't having that cheat. Wait, no. That's not where I get my repels. This is where you get your repels. Actually, this is where you get your repels. You probably don't need ten of them, but... Better say that, sorry. Wait, what? Oh, I did have a max repel. Must have looked straight past it. Oh well. Okay, so... North ones. Wait, I just realized I was going the wrong way. I was going west. Instead of east. Well... Durr. I like how nobody said anything as well. Also, how do we still find a Pokemon? Oh yeah, never mind. <laughs> it was one of those sand heaps. I was about to get really angry at my Max Repel didn't work. Okay, so this way. Now up. And another one that way. Yeah, our hitbox is so big we can't avoid those guys. You wanna fight? Well, you know what? You'll get a fight. Flamethrower! Oops. Well guys, I think I'm going to end this stream right here. We've been going for 3 hours and 44 minutes. So that's pretty good. I have work tomorrow, so I still want to chill a little bit and then sleep. I'll see you guys in the next stream. Bye bye